Hello, I am Terry Wright, Director of Berwick Community TV. Welcome to News from Berwick Town Departments. Today, I am here with Chief Dennis Plant of the Berwick Fire Department. My goal is to learn more about the fire department, the people who work there, and the types of training involved. At the end of our show, Chief Plant will have time to tell us what he wants us to know about the firemen and the fire department. Can you tell us about how many staff you have full-time, part-time, per diem? I can, Terry. The Berwick uh, Fire Department Rescue provides the residents of the town of Berwick with fire pr protection as well as fire prevention programs and emergency medical services. Mm -hmm. uh, the staff consists of right now uh, 27 on call, five career, which means paid staff, mm -hmm. including myself, five per diem staff that we've hired uh, over the last six months, uh, which come in and cover shifts that are vacant, and we also have two junior firefighters. Two junior firefighters? Two junior firefighters. Now, how old do you have to be to be a junior firefighter? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Wow, how nice. Yeah. And um, how about the newest people? How many of the people that you've gotten in the last six months to a year? Uh, the newest on-call staff Yep. Uh, were hired about a year ago, Okay. Uh, Brandon Viola. Uh, Maddie Stella okay. uh, and Cabe Capot. Uh, Cabe is a uh, uh, military person stationed down to uh, Peace. Okay. And uh, the, they've all worked out real well. They all have just completed, with the exception of one, the 240 hour recoup training for firefighters. 240 um, hours. hours. Yeah. Uh, and they cover basic knowledge and skills mm -hmm. of firefighting. And there's about 32 topics that they cover throughout their training program. Okay. And usually this takes anywhere from three months to six, seven months to complete. And it's a couple nights a week, a couple Saturdays, Sundays. Um, but in the end, they get their certification. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of training that someone has to go through to be a firefighter. Correct. Yeah. All right. Um, so obviously we've gone over the, the training that has just happened for them. There's ongoing training though, isn't there? There's ongoing training. Uh, every month the department has <clears throat> some sort of training. Mm -hmm. Could be basic firefighting training uh, or it could be specialized training like hazardous materials, uh, vehicle extrication. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of different areas that um, we really need more training in, but because of time constraints and commitment, we try to select the ones that right now are more important than others, mm -hmm. which uh, comes into play quite a bit in our line of work. We, we handle incidences from hazardous materials to you know, uh, EMS, uh, lift assist, uh, so we kind of do the whole gamut of things. Mm -hmm. And I always looked at it as whatever law enforcement doesn't do, we do. You have to pick so it we pick yeah. it up. So, yeah. yeah. Now I know that BCTV has filmed a couple of things that you've done with the emergency management team for the Salmon Falls River. Correct. Um, and then we just did one that you had across the street for prime tanning. Those are actually more like regional trainings, though, are they not, or specific for...? Uh, the uh, river drill that yeah. we did a year or so ago was basically uh, for the town of Berwick and the city of Somersworth to test our reaction and our plans in place should there a spill occur in the St. Right. Falls River. And overall, that we learned quite a bit from that. Mm -hmm. The training that we just had back in the end of June yep. was provided by the New England Fools Training Group on behalf of Captain Burns, uh, and uh, that was a big success. We had probably close to 60, 65 people attend, and we had close to 22 instructors from all over New England. That was amazing. So it was a very uh, intense training, Yeah. but everybody enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. That's great. Um, is there anything that you would like our viewers to know about the fire department um, or about the training or um, getting involved? Um, the, the department has grown <clears throat> and it's going to continue to grow, uh, grow yeah, I suspect. Right so. uh, over the last eight years, um, <clears throat> we've actually added a more on-call 
and as I indicated, we've added some per diem staff to help with the full-time staff. Right now, the department is operating two people 24-7, 365 days a year. That's something that we strive for over the years, and right. we're at that point now uh, where it's really making a big difference in the service we can provide. Right. Especially the EMS side. Mm -hmm. We're always looking at how can we improve the services to the town, right. uh, and it's a constant change for us. We've come from all volunteer to on call where they're paid yeah. to full time staff. It's over the last eight years, so it's been quite a quite a uh, quite of a experience for us as well as for the town. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we encourage people to stop by the station. As you know, there's a new station will be built sometime in the near future. Yeah. Uh, and people are excited about that, and uh, you know the town's growing, and uh, hopefully we can continue to provide the service the town expects. And that's the truth. Is it? It takes a lot of people to man yep. a fire station and to do it properly. Yep. Um, and so we completely get that. Well, thank you for joining BCTV today. We greatly appreciate your time. You're welcome. And, My pleasure. Uh, we look forward to hopefully some future events that we can uh, coordinate with. Very good. Thank you very much.